this next video clip you're going to see happens quite regularly at shopping centres. People leaving their keys in the car. I bet you're one of them. <laughs> How many people have left their keys in their car? Doesn't matter if it's at home or at the shopping centre, but so many people have done it before. I deal with it nearly every single day I work. People leave their keys in the car. But the first thing I always ask, um, um, are they in RECQ? Do they have a, um, a road, free roadside service that can come out and um, work on their car? If not, they got no option. Um, I then run, usually run through uh, a few options. One, we can break the window. Two, we can we can try and, and break into the car. Um, that's usually uh, a few methods um, that I've picked up over the years. Um, one of them is a um, actually a set of keys I carry in my I always carry a first aid kit <laughs> in my belt here. I carry a set of these keys with me. Now, um, in um, in Australia, in Queensland, they're not deemed as a um, an illegal tool um, unless you have criminal history. Um, if you're caught um, wearing duck clothes and balaclavas and all that sort of stuff, I suppose you could sort of say that they would be breaking in implements. But um, when I use these, I have the consent of the person's car that I'm um, getting into, and um, that's all you need. But these are very hard in the door locks, so if you don't get it within 10 seconds, abandon it, because you're going to start wearing the actual tumblers inside the door lock. When you actually get the key um, out of the ignition, stick it back in the car, you'll find it won't work. Their key won't work. Um, so. Um, don't try those unless you know what you're doing because you can actually damage the lock and that's why I always say to the people as well that's why having a camera on your belt always ask the person you know look I can I might be able to get into your car within 10 seconds using this but if I don't um, I can actually cause damage to your lock do you mind if I have a go and they say yes no go for it mate go for it I, I need you to help me well then um, that covers me for when on the camera when they come back to me and say, oh, he broke my door lock, trying to break into my car. Well, you gave me consent. Now, that's all you need, consent, consent, okay? Because you might scratch their paintwork on their car. Um, look, if I try this, mate, I might I might do it with scratch here. Most of the late model cars, you can't get into with these anyway. But, um, any push buttons, mainly only for older cars, um, or trucks anyway. But, um, make sure you get that consent, number one. Two, if you're going to break the window, triple make sure your camera's on before you smash that window. And there's other ways in doing that as well. But anyway, going on to this video clip. I know the driver, so I don't have to get a, um, identification off the driver. Um, his wallet might be in the truck anyway. Um, um, but that is a major, major key. Um, a lot of people have um, been walking along through a car park and they notice the key in the ignition. Hey, I've noticed it before myself, walking through. And um, someone else might see that. Oh shit, I might just steal this car. Why not? <laughs> it's keys in there. So um, it's happened before. I think it happened in Sydney, Australia, uh, New South Wales, where a security officer come along trying to do the right thing and help a bloke out like I normally do, or female out, whatever, and um, helped him break into the car and send him on his way. And um, the poor security guard found out later on that... Uh, it wasn't his car, and he actually helped him break into it. <laughs> but no, always make sure that uh, it is their their, uh, their truck, their car. But um, but I'll get onto those little safety tips anyway later on. But um, check it out. I presume this is your truck? Yeah. <laughs> not a good day today. No, I'm starting off early. No. The other truck, one of the other guys is off um, on holidays. So the boss has got my car. <laughs> and my other keys are in the, can, left in the car. Oh, bugger. And that one Do you want me there, to try and give it a go, mate, with these keys? Yeah. That one there's a spare key that normally sits up the back of the refrigeration unit. Oh, fine. Okay, which way do you turn your key? That way. 
That way? That way. Don't worry about it. Security <laughs> guard just helped me out. Thank You're you right, very mate. much, mate. Thank no, you. No problem, mate. Have a good day. <laughs> Yeah, the one in the fridge unit, that's the one I was using. Uh... And they're the keys I use. Very handy. Very fucking handy to do your daily job. Fucking hole here, look at this. Grab your drink, a nice break or something? Oh, I wouldn't say no. Hey, oh, yeah, why yeah, not? This one again. It's a double shot. Double shot. Bit stronger one. Ice breaker. Extra shot. All right. Thanks, mate. Once again, mate. Nah, not a problem, mate. Thank you mate. very much. Thank I you. I know she was having a problem there. <laughs> right. It pays, doesn't it? To help out. You just give people a hand. Man, I would recommend this drink for anyone, man. This is good stuff. Man, this actually tastes good. I was very surprised. Never tried them before. Well, I've had uh, yeah, the ice, ice coffee drinks before, but man, this is good shit. Yeah, you should try it. Oh yeah, so you've seen it. Only took me three, three or four seconds to break into that truck. But um, as well as saying, get consent. Can't stress it enough. Get consent. Um, try and give the person a few options if they don't have a free roadside service you'll have to ring up one and uh, try and um, try and help them out as best you can um, not forgetting people try and um, um, get rid of the security guard for a while okay this is where you get it's a little bit technical okay this is where it gets a little bit fun doing security at a shopping center when you're by yourself people try and tie you up doing something else Lock the keys in the car, keep the security guy because he'll want to help out, man. You keep him down here and we'll just go and um, knock off a whole shopping trolley full out, so out of um, one of the grocery stores. It's happened before. Watch who you're helping out and don't stay there too long helping them out. Okay, you've got to get back to your job. Okay, you must keep your boss happy and keep moving. Um, don't hang around the, those jobs too much. I can't stress that enough. Um, people will see you and uh, as you're driving in helping that person out and you know you can see there's a few people there trying to help out so the security guard's going to be tied up for just too long so just watch that keep that in the back of your mind guys okay well you have a good day and uh, let me know what you think about that drink <laughs> see you mate